In the heart of the Indian subcontinent lies a nation where democracy thrives. India is a land of diversity, a land of contrasts and above all, a land of democracy. Today, India stands tall as the world's largest democracy with over a billion voices echoing through its vibrant electoral process. In India, every citizen, regardless of background or creed, holds the power to shape the nation's future. The legacy of democratic governance in India traces its roots back to ancient era. Our ancient scriptures, dating back to the Vedic age, which is approximately 4,000 years ago, are filled with references to republics and democracies prevailing in various parts of ancient India. The oldest Vedic scripture, Rig Veda, mentions two governing bodies, Sabha and Samiti. Sabha is traditionally believed to be an elected body. In the era of Ganarajya, the head of the gun was elected by the people. The ancient Lichavi's clan were renowned for their fair governance and democratic principles. While the Bodh Sangh and the Buddhist councils also had clear rules for the election of their leaders. From the village councils to grand assemblies, the voices of the people have resonated through the ages, shaping the nation's destiny. The story of modern Indian electoral system begins in 1950, when India adopted its constitution, laying the foundation for democratic governance. Just a year later, in 1951, the nation conducted its first general elections, marking a monumental moment in history. Since then, India's electoral system has evolved significantly, with each election bringing new reforms and innovations to ensure the integrity and fairness of the electoral process. The authority to conduct elections lies in the Election Commission, which is an autonomous constitutional body. To make elections more transparent and effective, the Election Commission has introduced various reforms like the introduction of electronic voting machine or EVMs. Apart from making the process of counting votes faster, EVMs have reduced the incidence of electoral frauds and is also environmentally friendly. In 2013, the Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail was also added, which is essentially a printer attached to the EVMs that allows each voter to print out a piece of paper that shows which candidate he or she voted for. General elections in India are the biggest exercise in managing a single event anywhere in the world. With its vast population and geographical diversity, conducting elections in India is a monumental task. There are a million polling stations across India. More than 120 trains comprising over 3,000 coaches along with 200,000 buses and cars are used for transportation of people and election-related materials nationwide. In order to guarantee that every Indian citizen can conveniently access their voting rights within a 2km radius, a polling booth was established in the remote Gir forest of the western state of Gujarat to accommodate the solitary voter residing there. Similarly, in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, on the border with China, polling officials hike for a day to reach Malugam village, where one woman is registered to vote. In Ladakh region, a polling station is set up at an altitude of 4,327 meters for 12 voters. And in the southernmost Andaman and Nicobar Islands, polling officials arrange polling stations for a mere nine voters following a journey through swamps. Indian elections also strive to empower women through the allocation of reserved seats and affirmative action, 
not only giving them a stronger voice but also ensuring their concerns are acknowledged and addressed. With its meticulous electoral machinery, India sets the standard for efficiency and democracy. Despite its vastness and diversity, the nation orchestrates seamless elections, a dedication to its commitment to the democratic ideals. As the world looks on, the nation commemorates its biggest elections in 2024 and continues to inspire with its unwavering commitment to democracy, a shining example for nations around the globe. Reflecting on our democratic journey, let us remember the importance of active citizen participation in shaping the future of our nation. Because in the end, it's not just about elections, it's about the collective power of the people to build a better tomorrow.